This is Tony Huang. I'm the founder and CIO of Tech Execs Network. We are a national association and national network of decision makers just like you. And uh, that we are, most of us are in charge of technology. Some of us are in charge of the financial side of the business. But uh, we're really proud to have the 451 group and Anton Hios. Good morning, Anton. Good morning, Tony. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you and your team for creating this survey. Um, and this survey has been sent out to over 66,000 of our uh, CIO and IT leadership members. Um, so let's take five, six minutes to just kind of quickly go through a snapshot of the survey itself. And then so uh, the survey is not going to be closed until June 17th, 2011, so another week. Uh, so I encourage everyone to participate and go ahead and do the survey and get online and help each other uh, in finding out a little bit about the boundaries and uh, vision and goals and uh, mapping of the plans that people are doing these days. Okay. So, so Anton, what does the 451 group do? Perfect. Yeah, the 451 group, we are a uh, technology analyst and data company. Uh, we help uh, organizations, uh, IT executives, business executives uh, make better decisions on what they're doing with uh, enterprise technology these days. Everything from the IT professional and user side to uh, vendor organizations and also uh, investment banking, uh, private equity, and uh, VC organizations also. Okay, great. Um, Anton, let's, uh, without spending too much time on every slide, since this is not, this is the initial draft, what are some of the survey demographics as far as industry concerned that you have tried to map to? Perfect. Yeah, in the survey responses, we got members that uh, were in the aerospace industry, the automotive industry, uh, business services, uh, energy, healthcare. So we covered a nice set of the demographics of the industry you see there. The majority of the industries from the members that responded came from the technology side, banking financials, and also the manufacturing side. That's where we saw a majority of uh, the membership where it was probably the bigger concentration coming into the survey. And in the survey demographic, can you kind of go through it quickly on uh, what are some of the revenues of the companies and the roles of the individual being surveyed? Yes, this is, uh, this is where it gives people a great a barometer check or benchmark of what's going on out there with their peers. Uh, the revenue size is a majority came from um, the zero to 200 million in revenue. A majority of those companies were a lot closer to the 200 million as I checked into those companies that were there. Uh, if you look at the next uh, two demographics, which is the 200 to just under uh, 500 million and 500 to uh, 1 billion. So if you look at that and if you look at and add up those percentages, 75% are in that range. So we're looking at the small to mid-sized enterprises, uh, a very big area and also the largest kind of enterprises we see in uh, North America that uh, provide a lot of business and uh, information these days into organizations. And then what about the roles? So, yeah, the role, and what was really great was uh, we had a majority from the IT executive role was on the enterprise CIO side. So these are the people that are the senior most IT person inside the organization. They carry the title of uh, chief information officer or even some of them chief technology officers depending on their organization. Uh, what was nice too was the next role was a senior IT leader. So uh, looking at those um, responses, those are probably people, that, they may not have the title of CIO, but they might be the uh, executive vice president or senior vice president inside of an organization. And uh, that was a great demographic to have between those enterprise CIOs and the senior IT leaders there too. That's, that's wonderful. Um, since the survey is not complete yet, uh, would you encourage more people to participate? I would definitely encourage more people to uh, participate. As, as uh, you know, Tony, we, we talked at one point, this is a great way for uh, CIOs and IT executives to understand what's actually going on out there, but also to see some insights of uh, the data that's coming back that's actually helping them be maybe more uh, strategic and forward thinking uh, for that role of the CIO or uh, senior IT executive. And if you, you know, look at this slide real quickly, which is great. You know, years as a CIO, majority of the percentages are from zero to four years and then also five to nine years. Um, what I see is that, uh, I, and from talking to CIOs, and probably you've seen this too, uh, I think that um, year of when people were saying that the CIO will only last two to three years or 24 months, I think that's extended more. I've seen it where it's lasting anywhere between 4.3 to 4.6. And what's also great is 
the tenure that we're seeing with our CIOs here too. Um, 64% prior were at other roles. Uh, the other nice thing too, for the 36% that are new CIOs, there's a lot of data here that will help them as they expand their career in being a CIO too. So there's 30%, 36% first time CIOs, and then you can see there's 13 that were at one company, 29 at two and 14. But this is great data for those guys that have been and those people that have been in the positions, anyone who's new to see this information. And then, you know, what I love to see also is 56% are saying that they're part of the executive committee. That is very key. I think that percentage is up over the years also. Uh, just because when we see technology being very pervasive inside uh, the enterprise, and it's no longer, I think, IT in the business, technology is part of the business and does help drive a lot of things. Okay. Uh, one of the key things is the IT spending, and that's been a urgent request from many, many of our CIO members on their own measurement and their own scorecarding of how they're spending versus everybody else. So this slide is uh, really helpful and hopefully more of you, uh, our members, are gonna be completing the survey so we'll get an even better uh, measurement of what the spending looks like. So Anton, what is the survey data IT spending tells us? Yeah, so as we look at this survey spending, if you look at it, you know, 45% is in that 1% to 3% range. So there's there's 55% of organizations that are actually spending more than that 3%. That's actually very good. What I like about this, this, this question, this data that we got, was actually the next chart, which is compared to 2010. And if we look at it, 50% of organizations are spending more money uh, this year than they did last year uh, in IT spending, 23% same. So if you look at it, it's, you know, 27% is lower. That's going to happen in certain industries. Certain industries aren't doing as well as others. Um, and this is what's great about this is that as we go forward and look at this survey and, um, you know, do this survey again next year, uh, I think we're going to see more of an uptick of, of the same or spending higher. But I thought that was a great data point right here that 50% are spending higher because if you go back to last year, I don't think they were close to this. Okay. Um, all right. This is really a wonderful slide and the, uh, the survey question, I think there were multiple segments of the survey question that com covered the top five skills and traits. Tell us a little bit about these top five skills to succeed and traits to succeed. Yeah, if you go back, uh, you know, years ago that uh, um, when you looked at the, the skills and the traits of uh, uh, senior IT executive, you know, back then they were calling those people data processing or that was someone in the uh, technology area. A lot of these skill sets and traits we see right now are emerging of uh, bringing together that integration of business and technology. So if you look at it, it's leadership, it's building relationships, it's strategic thinking, communications, building a team. These are all the things you would also see as key skills for any other kind of CXO inside your organization. The CFO, the COO, the CEO. So I love seeing that, that we're getting this response back from the group. I'm sure as we keep this survey open for another week, uh, these, are, these, these skill sets are probably going to be the same. Um, what is very interesting are the honorable mentions because the problem solving, business savvy, and expectation management, those are more of the strategic skill sets I see from more of the senior CIOs out there. And then also several CIOs that have worked at larger organizations that's where those honorable mentions come in. And I think that's very key. That's actually helping a lot of the CIOs that are out there to look at that. You can't always look at the technology side. We do see technology oriented as an honorable mention. And the reason is, part of your role is when you're a CIO and an IT executive, you still need to know what's going on with the technology aspects of the organization. Uh, and that's from yourself, understanding what your team's doing, and being able to provide that technology orientation to the business side. From the trades, this is perfect. These are the kind of people you want to see inside your organization. What I would suggest to the CIOs and IT executives is you look at these traits. These are the same traits you want to have to your direct reports and the people below that inside your organization, too, because those are going to be the next leaders inside your IT organization. Okay, great. Um, now, this we got two more slides, but uh, the top five business management and technology priorities. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you found here. 
Well, this maps very closely to what we saw in the skills and traits. Once again, very much a business technology focus, so it's providing technology leadership to the business. That's making them aware of what's going on, what kind of technologies are out there, how these technologies can benefit the business, how they can streamline processes, uh, how we can use some of those technologies to build better service delivery from an IT side. So they all map very nicely, as you can see on that, on that left-hand side. Honorable uh, mentions, once again, provide the business capabilities, manage change in the business, and there it is, the recruit retain. So what we saw is the traits of what we look at from, for ourselves as CIOs or senior IT executives. We need to take those kind of traits down into our IT staffing. Uh, still a big issue, always been recruiting, retaining, and retraining IT staff. Skill sets are changing these days too as we see technology changing and what we're seeing from cloud computing and all these other kind of new computing technologies that are coming out there. A push towards mobility, uh, bigger pushes towards security and what's happening. So very key. Mm -hmm. From the technology priorities, business intelligence is huge. Everyone's talking about big data out there and how we can leverage more of that data that we're gathering and what we can do with it. So very big, to very topical these days. Mobile technologies. Uh, as you can tell, you know, everything from uh, smartphones, laptops, uh, and now all of some of these tablets, you know, how can we leverage those kind of technologies to make our em employees uh, more efficient and uh, able to connect better with our uh, customers that, that, are, that are outside of our organization? Uh, data information management, virtualization, and security technology. Okay. Uh, honorable mentions, cloud, as you know, something we're hearing and continue to keep hearing about, and it will be a focus on it. Uh, ERP, because that relates to a lot of the applications people are working on, and one that I thought was very interesting was uh, networking, voice, and data communications. It's all going to be a unified front. So um, very interesting stuff here. I am really looking at that business management and those honorable mentions because I, that, that is going to that is going to take CIOs to the next step uh, in their career where they are inside their organizations and how they can take their organizations to the next level. Okay. Well, that's great, Anton. Um, so let's uh, talk about this final slide here, the survey data. Uh, what does it uh, tell us? Well, this is great. This means that uh, a lot of CIOs out there like what they're doing. They like what they're doing where they are. They also like what they're doing, and they like to go off and try other things at other companies as CIOs. So I think that is great. I also like seeing that the next career line was C COO. 13% said that. And actually, I think that is a perfect fit for a lot of CIOs out there, a lot of senior CIOs and IT executives. The COO job is very similar to the CIO job. It's just not as much in the technology space. It's on the operations. And if you look at a CIO, you do a lot of operations and managing the technology, but you need to understand what else is going on inside the business. The next one down from that, CEOs. I've seen that with a lot of the CIOs I've worked with over the years. They do move off and they go become CEOs at organizations. Uh, few go to large size organizations. Most of them go off to be CEOs at small to mid sized organizations and also more towards a technology space than anything else. Uh, well, thank yeah. you, Anton, for uh, kind of walking us through a quick snapshot of the survey. Again, uh, the survey is not closed yet, so I encourage everyone to participate. So, Anton, how do they get to the survey? You can get to the survey. It's uh, out there on SurveyMonkey. So there is a, as you can see on this last slide, we do have a link. It's uh, SurveyMonkey.com. And uh, look for the part that says 451 Group IT Executive. And click that, please. It'll take you maybe about 15, 20 minutes, not even, uh, to fill out the survey. And we can get your responses so that you guys can have a great uh, view of what's going on out there with your peers and uh, hopefully get some insights on what you can focus on to take your career and your role to the next level. Okay. Well, thank you, Anton, for your time to, uh, that, to walk through these slides really quick with us this morning. And that uh, I encourage everyone to go ahead and jump in and fill out the survey. So, Anton, you guys will run the survey uh, result one more time and update the uh, slides. If you guys have any questions, in the meantime, feel free to contact Anton directly and his contact information is on the slide. Thank you this, very much this morning, Anton, for participating with us. Tony, thank you. It was great.